Yes, believe it or not, in Australia, you can still buy a brand new Toyota Land Cruiser 70 Series. Amazing, isn't it? And very cool in our opinion. You can get it in a variety of trim levels too, and even different body styles, including dual cab ute, troop carrier, and this, the wagon. This example we're testing here is actually a special edition model which celebrates the 70th anniversary of the Land Cruiser. It's based on the otherwise top-spec GXL, adding some distinctive cosmetic tweaks and added luxury inside. Firstly, you'll probably notice the black highlights for the exterior, including the wheel arch flares, painted bumper bars, various body trimmings, and the dark 16-inch alloy wheels. The 70 Series continues as one of the most rugged and heavy-duty SUVs on the market. It features live axle suspension, front and rear, with leaf springs at the back and coil springs at the front. Ground clearance is rated at 230 millimeters. Although that might not sound very impressive, any objects that do catch underneath are going to be met by a thick and solid component, unlikely to budge. Those dark gray alloy wheels are wrapped in big 265-70 all-terrain tires. Inside, this special edition is surprisingly flash. You get leather type seats, a proper center console with a couple of charging ports, a new 6.1 inch touchscreen on the dash, and even wood grain style inserts. There's no hiding the fact this is an old vehicle. Like, check out those old school climate controls. Remember those temperature sliders? Toyota has improved practicality with the latest version though, adding usable storage boxes and even cup holders. The cabin remains very tall and upright, with huge windows providing a clear view of the terrain around you. Rear seat appointments are limited to the seats, some map pockets, and that's about it. Legroom and headroom probably won't be an issue for most people though. Oh, and there are ashtrays in the doors. We haven't seen those for years, not in a new car anyway. We couldn't find the volume figures for the boot, but as you can see, it is huge. There's plenty of depth and height, with baby seat anchor points on the ceiling and twin barn style doors at the back. Under the bonnet is the trusty 4.5 litre turbo diesel V8. This is now the only V8 option for the Land Cruiser nameplate, given the new 300 series has moved to a V6. It's pretty slow, as you'd expect, but it offers unrivaled reliability and seems a perfect match for this style of vehicle. It's only available with a manual transmission. This is what it goes like. Now, obviously, acceleration is not what this beast is about. This is designed to get you to places not reachable in a conventional car or SUV. 
It's also designed for long trips to remote locations, including to the Australian outback. With a 130 litre fuel tank, the theoretical average range is over 1,200 kilometres. Admittedly, we didn't really challenge the vehicle during this test, mainly due to lockdown restrictions in place at the time of recording. But we have taken one properly off-road before and it is virtually unstoppable. Engage the differential locks and low range and it just keeps going. It doesn't want to stop, regardless of how sticky or rough the conditions are. This is definitely one for our dream car garage, particularly this special edition version. We'll have one in white, please. <laughs> 